टुडे वी हैव अ वेरी वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट शिवांश आफ्टर मी द यंगेस्ट गाय इज अबाउट ट्वेंटी थ्री और ट्वेंटी फोर ईयर्स ओल्ड आई सर्च फॉर द फाउंडर सो आई नो नो दैट मॉक्स कबर स्टार्ट इज स्टार्ट इज प्रोग्राम जर्नी एट द एज ऑफ ट्वेल्थ आई एम मीटिंग समवन हु इज हाफ ऑफ योर एज सो आई एम अ फुल स्टैक डेवलपर नोज अदर प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस एंड पाइथन हाई एवरी वन सो वॉट वर यू डूइंग वेन यू आर ट्वेल्व ईयर्स ओल्ड आई गेस प्लेइंग गेम्स watching tv or worried about exams if you talk about me i was mostly worried about exam and i was worried about my dad he used to come at home and ask me kitni padhai ki aaj and i was always you know hiding from him today we have a very very special guest shivansh he is cto of a company at the age of 12 so shivansh uh, first of all i would like you to introduce yourself and then i would like to ask you more questions so please introduce yourself I am Shivan Shaksena currently lives in Madhya Pradesh Guna I am a full stack developer knows other programming languages and python So when you say full stack developer with that confident I'm really surprised man it's really great to see uh, the confidence and the achievements that you've done and I would like to know how it all started like what age you started and how did you reach this point you are currently CTO and I mean you must have started very early So at the age of 8 Uh, when like uh, i have a computer my brother like do a lot of things on computer so i asked him about all the things like facebook whatsapp what are these apps so he told me about programming and other things from there my journey started then i learned scratch basic uh, you know programming then i learned python then i learned other programming languages so many kids do you know have this curiosity that you know how do how does whatsapp work how does facebook work they do google about it and they just you know get the basics but you got very curious right and i think the point you reached you must have put in a lot of effort so you have very easily told your journey that i started at 8 and you know i kept on coding after that tell us more details like how many hours you code in a day and at the age what you were doing how did you begin first of all what what kind of programming you began with so uh Uh, basically when i uh, knew about uh, facebook i searched uh, for the founder so i knew uh, know that mark zuckerberg started uh, uh, started his programming journey at the age of 12 so i say uh, i'll uh, start uh, early uh, so then i learn about python uh, in this like uh, i learn 3 hours daily python and it took a lot of efforts to learn the basic python uh, because to remember the things the syntax so it's very hard but then still i learned it all right So uh when you began python what kind of questions you were solving and did you just started learning the syntax or you started the problem solving i'm just very interested because you started very early i mean 8 is 8 years is very early uh, when i started i was uh, like not that like i have to learn python i have to master it i just started it then i uh, get to know, uh, knew about a, a lot of things like solving uh, questions uh, real world uh, problems so then i searched for a lot of platforms then i uh, get to know i guess uh, it's hacker earth so from there i just uh, uh, saw a lot of problems i tried to solve them but those problems were very hard so then i kept on learning solving basic problems like making uh, some function g mean function etc then i get uh, about a lot of things like uh, uh, about like uh, dsa i learned from your videos itself uh, dsa in python all right then i uh, like that's how my journey began and all the things. and at what age you were solving these kind of questions g sum and uh, series sum and all these basic questions at the age of 9 or 10 i guess oh wow man that's really super super great to hear and uh, you must be going to school also right so bes- uh, beside coding you must be involved in academics so how do you manage your time you you go to school and then you come back and you start coding like how 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 do you do it all Uh, basically i do not have a timetable at that time just i was like uh, really excited about programming so i just uh, managed it uh, naturally like when i uh, like go to school and then i like uh, after coming from school i do my homework then i like learned programming 2 uh, to 3 hours basically then i solved some pro- uh, problems that's it for a day and your parents must be very very proud seeing you you know achieving so much at the age of 12 how much your parents have been helpful in your journey especially your mom or your dad who has been more helpful to you basically both are very helpful to me because they buy a setup and hold the things uh, sometimes they support me mentally uh, when i didn't solve a problem or i didn't get the solution of a problem i like just uh, be tense uh, what i can do how can i solve this problem so they support me yeah you can do this so they are very really helpful and they like bought me a whole setup and they teached me a lot so they are very helpful so you started uh, you know 
program problem solving on some ipad or some mobile or some laptop or like how did you start you bought a laptop laptop in the, at the age of 8 or you were using your dad's computer uh, i was using my brother's computer actually okay. he bought it uh, for his uh, like school things but then i used it so you mentioned about your brother that you were using your brother's laptop or your brother's desktop so how did your brother help you and how does what did your brother do so uh, basically my brother like uh, teach me all the things like not teaching but he guided me a lot like from where you have to learn and what the things he have uh, like researched about courses also like he told me about geeks for geeks like you can use geeks for geeks uh, for your learning and other youtube channels for, uh, and you can learn from other websites also and yeah, he is very supportive also so it gives me also a lot of pleasure you know knowing that we could help somebody like you you know learning language languages and coding at such an early age you consumed my course also that you told me i'm super happy to hear all that so now next question is how did you decide that you want to choose python as a programming language not any other programming language you must have researched about other languages also yes uh, yes i have uh, in the starting like uh, i was just researching uh, from which uh, programming language all the apps are made so like i got in about android development and java c++ c sharp then i uh, researched about some basic programming language so that i can learn them then i get to uh, know about uh, like python uh, it was a, a blog in uh, this blog uh, it was written a uh, python is very easy language but it's very helpful and it do a lot of things like it have dsa data analytics and other functioning it have a lot of libraries like pandas numpy then i started like uh, i uh, in starting i thought it's very easy and like a basic programming language but after learning this uh, i know that i get to know about that this is very like uh, useful language you chose in the right language man i mean you know python is something which is useful for everything you can do web development you can do uh, even dsa competitive coding and it has great libraries as you mentioned for machine learning data science and everything so your choice is right and it's a good language to begin with i mean it's very simple syntax now my next question is uh, you are cto of a company right so i i'm very curious how big the company is how, and how many people work with you in the tech team okay so uh, like uh Uh, about the company uh, it's emsin academy we provide uh, like study solutions to uh, students like uh, like geeks for geeks provides courses to the company uh, like students but we have we are uh, like we provide co- uh, courses to the students and we have a portal called student hub uh, where student can register and there are uh, hrs who uh, will hire them and this is for like tier three or four students because uh, tier 1 and tier 2 students have a lot of money so they can like uh, go and uh, do internship but tier 3 and tier 4 students do not have that much resources co- uh, compared to uh, other students so we created mcn academy all right so you teach college students or the school students everyone can learn from mcn academy because the courses are very, uh, free so everyone who wants to learn like college students or uh, normal school students they can learn from there and you must be the youngest person in your company right uh, how do you manage and how do you you know manage that age gap and your cto right so there must be people working with you also working under you also so how many people work with you or report to you or are people reporting to you basically uh, like i am the youngest obviously because like i am the smallest uh, uh, after me the youngest guy is about 23 or 24 years old oh. <laughs> like uh, twice my age <laughs> okay so like uh, it's not very hard to manage about uh, like uh, three or four people works under me because like the team and the graphic designer and all and i create my videos so that's not very hard and uh, to manage a company because uh, like i just mail what i want and they do what uh, and i do not put very much uh, pressure on the people and like that it's very easy like to handle and uh i saw that you teach python also on online right on youtube as well so how how when how come you're teaching python and how did this teaching thing started so basically when i join, uh, joined emsin academy uh, at starting i do like basic things to like uh, manage the things uh, make uh, what to do uh, what to do plan and the other things but then the co-founder uh, told me that uh, you have a good python knowledge so you can start teaching on youtube itself uh, how to uh, like python courses 
then i uh, like uh, make a whole plan like what i have to do and then research uh, then i get to know about 100 days programming challenge it's very easy like it's not kind of challenge but it's to teach and uh, like other youtubers have started it so i then started teaching on youtube uh, with the name of 100 days of programming challenge python all right so our cdo is also very young and i think i used to, i used to think that he's the youngest cdo in this in such a big organization he started just after btech and uh, i am very happy to meet you i told him before this podcast that he broke your record yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i am meeting someone who is half of your age so uh, great to see man uh, and i am very curious to check your knowledge also and maybe do an activity or play a game with you uh, where i'll be asking you some questions on python and you need to answer them and audience you guys can also try these questions that i am going to show on the screen uh, we'll be taking a break of 5 seconds you can try these questions yourself So let us begin the Python coding KBC, and we have Shivan's special guest with us, who's going to answer the questions that I'm going to ask, and you guys also need to play along. So Shivan, let's begin with our first question. Ah, uh, here you have a Python code, and you need to guess the output of this code. You have four choices: ah, uh, one, two, three, error, one, two, and none of the mentioned. Okay. So. the output of the code will be uh, it will give a error and why error because in the li- uh, last line it's written i plus equals 1 and plus equals is written as without any space in middle oh so, man great so uh, next question for you uh, shivansh uh, you need to tell me is python code compiled or interpreted uh, it's interpreted okay and Actually, this question is bit tricky. Uh, there are different implement. There might be different implementations of Python, and some implementations might be interpreted. Some implementations might be compiled, and some implementations might be both compiled and interpreted. And the most popular one is C Python. And so you can tell me about C Python. Is it compiled or interpreted or compiled? I think uh, it's also interpreted. Uh, C Python is actually compiled and interpreted both. It's first compiled and then interpreted. Oh. Anyways, nice try, and I am really impressed by the first answer that you gave. You immediately picked the error. Now we have a third question for you. You okay. need to guess the output of this code which is given here. Okay. So let me think. Just I equal zero. Why do I always less than three? Twenty hard. I think. uh i guess the output of this code will be 12 0120 all right and can you explain the execution and i hope you guys also guessed it right uh, so can you explain the uh, reason for 0120 okay so let's start from beginning firstly uh, it uh, like uh, okay let me start i uh, we have set the value of i uh, as 0 and we are saying that while i is smaller than 3 print i and the initial value of i is 0 so it's smaller than 3 obviously so it will print first a zero then we are saying that add one in the i but it's uh, but uh, like now also it's uh, zero but it's lesser than but it will print one because the value of i is one then uh, we are saying that add one more to one and uh, like check if the value is greater than 3 then but it's not greater so it will print two and then we are saying that now add one to the uh, to two and uh, like print the value and now it's 3 so it will print 0 because the loop uh, has ended the value of i has become uh, equals to 3 so the loop has uh, ended and the value is 0 1 2 0 and we are simply printing 0 at the end so it will only print 0 oh, all right great so uh, next question for you uh, you need to tell me the uh, standard library python function uh, okay. that we need to that we use to add an item at the end of a list so you have four choices add end add last append and add so the correct answer is list1 dot append 5 all right great i'm really impressed guys <laughs> so i hope you guys also guess these answers correct and uh, so here is the last question okay uh this is a bit complex question for you and uh, as let's see if you answer it correctly okay let's see uh, so the question is okay def okay x equal to def x return i will x okay 
so let me uh, give you the answer and also like uh, explain my uh, reason so here we are saying that uh, we are, we have created a function foo uh, and we have uh, given uh, uh, x here also and we are saying x0 equals def and x1 equals abc and then we are returning id uh, into x like we are storing uh, storing x into id and then we are uh, uh, like uh, uh, we are, we have uh, then we have created a variable called q and then we have stored the same variable uh, like values that we stored in foo in this and then we are saying idq equals equals foo like idq is equals to foo and q so it will be uh, true because now both have the same uh, value and we are saying that uh, if they uh, have the same uh, value written true or false so both have same value all right and what does the id function do uh, what do we get out of id uh, I do not know much. I have used, but I know like uh, it's uh, like it is used to store or kind of things like. It gives you unique identification of a memory. That's great. I mean, I'm really impressed, man. I'm super to see. Okay, so, and I am surprised also. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, here's the end of these questions. Uh, now you can ask me any question that you have from your side. You want to ask anything about uh, the company or anything about that? What we do? Okay, so one question I have to ask you, which I think almost everyone uh, like have to uh, like ask to you if they uh, meet you like or to any founder like how you started your company Geeks for Geeks and is there any difficulty you faced in uh, your starting uh, like starting phase of Geeks for Geeks and how did you collected like all the members of Geeks for uh, Geeks basically how did you started Geeks for Geeks and like uh, make your team. So I started at the age of 28, 29, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very, very late and you have long, long time to go, man. And it takes a lot of time to build a company and you started so early. So there are very high chances if you keep doing it, it's all about consistency. The one good thing that I've done is I have kept doing it for, for 15 years. And if you give that much time to something, you are likely to get some success. So I started around 28, 29 age and talking about the team building. I, I started my career as a software developer, then I went to a teaching job. I always wanted to be a teacher. And that was the reason I started Geeks for Geeks. And since I was a teacher in engineering college, it was very easy for me to build the initial team. So most of the people, uh, those who work at Geeks for Geeks, the senior people, they were my students earlier. So that's how I was easily able to build the team. Thank you, sir. That's only the question I have to ask you. Okay, great talking to you, Shumansh. Really enjoyed the whole conversation. And now I am going to go home and tell my kids. <laughs> I asked them to study and I'm going to tell them that you guys need to work harder. Great, great talking to you, man. Thank you.